this question says if a b c are real numbers uh, and a square plus b square plus c square equal to 1 then the set of values a b plus b c plus c a can take is so first of all uh, this question can be categorized into uh, number theory as well as uh, some concepts of sequence and series where we are going to use the concept of uh, arithmetic mean and geometric mean so first of all uh, you must be knowing this formula that is uh, of a plus b plus c whole square this this is equals to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times a b plus b c plus c a right now let's consider that since this is what we need to find let's consider this to be x so and we know that this value is given as 1 and this value should always be greater than or equal to 0 hence I can write 1 plus 2x is greater than or equal to 0 hence I can write x must be greater than or equal to minus 1 by 2 so when we write like this uh, x belongs to something there we get the lower we have already got the lower bound now we need to find out the upper bound for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fact that am is greater than or equal to gm arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean now uh, let me refresh your memory by uh, telling you what is arithmetic mean and geometric mean suppose you have a few numbers a b and c let's take three numbers only then the arithmetic mean is given by a plus b plus c by 3 that is sum of all the observations divided by the number of observations and geometric mean is you take the product of all the observations and uh, make it to the power of 1 by 3 that is 1 by the number of observations so here if we uh, if we apply the amgm inequality for uh, two terms at a time where the terms are a square b square and c square then we can write a square plus b square by 2 is greater than uh, is greater than a b this by 2 will go up so I can write greater than or equal to 2 a b similarly I can write b square plus c square is greater than or equal to 2 b c and c square plus a square is greater than equals to 2 c a now add this all up you are going to get 2 times a square plus b square plus c square this is greater than or equal to 2 times this value that is x so x is less than or equal to this value that is 1 hence we get the upper bound that is 1 hence the option which uh, is matching to this is minus half and 1 will be your answer